hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it's other again and in this video i'll be sharing a little secret with you guys i'll be making a goosey without crayfish we all know that crayfish is a very key ingredient in making a goosey soup now for those of us especially living in diaspora it is sometimes difficult to get hold of crayfish and most times they are quite expensive so if you want to know the secret of making the perfect yummy nigerian style egusi soup without crayfish keep watching this video meanwhile if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel please click on the red subscribe button below to get subscribed and also on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video so basically what i'm doing here is to season my meat so i use the um no cube seasoning to season the meat and i used only one no two cubes that is two in one i used two cubes and i added one bulb of onion and sprinkled a little bit of salt so now i'm going to let the meat boil while i prepare other things so now this is stock fish and dry fish if you are making a goosey soup without these two things my sister my brother you have not started though it is very vital okay you need it to get that real native taste so that's basically what um i'll be doing I'll be washing that with warm water. Now, this is the egusi. I used two and a half cups, I mean three cups, according to my <laughs> measuring cup. And now I'm adding the osso. I think it's about two tablespoons of osso. Now, I know a lot of people use ofo as a thickener. In making their egusi soup but personally I prefer using also just because it gives me the perfect texture okay I think that um, ofo is a little bit slimy after making the egusi so I really don't like the texture so I use also in making mine so now um, this is shrimps okay i'll be blending these shrimps with some pepper i know you might be wondering hmm, what is she doing with shrimps my dear could this be a secret ingredient i don't know continue watching this video to find out okay i am about to let you in on another secret for your stock fish, you might want to soak that for a long time, like probably overnight. So it gets soft by the time you want to use it to cook. If not, you will end up boiling it till eternity before it gets soft. Okay. <laughs> so back to the cooking. I'm basically removing my meat from the stock because I don't want it to get so soft at the end of the cooking okay and i just added my already washed stock fish and dry fish into the stock and i'm going to allow it boil for a while before i add my uh, blended shrimps and pepper i will allow it simmer for a little while before i add the other ingredients so i added um, another no cube seasoning a little bit of salt 
and then my ogiri okbei aka locust bean see this ogiri okbei is another ogbenge in making a goosey soup all right is another key ingredient in making a goosey soup if you want to have that you know correct native taste you can make it you can make a goosey soup without using ogiri okbei all right so basically i um brought it out from my freezer so it was really hard i had to cook it a little bit to get soft then pounded it and now i'll have to add it back to the soup to the stock you don't have to go through this process if yours is in the fridge or it's still like fresh you bought it fresh i just went through this whole process because i brought it out from my freezer so it's really not necessary or else it is necessary <laughs> so guys yes now our egusi soup is gradually taking shape so i'll be adding red oil to the stock all right and i'll let it boil for a little while then add a little bit of water and our already mixed a goosey i know some people or a lot of people prefer to fry their egusi, but this is also another way of making egusi and try this method i'm sure you're gonna love it all right so this is the way i make my egusi and it always comes out perfectly well another tip on using this method you have to allow your egusi to cook properly otherwise it will taste raw okay so i just added oziza leaves all right the taste is just so different when you make your egusi with oziza leaf just a little bit don't add too much or else it's going to spoil the whole thing just a little sprinkle of oziza leaf in your egusi and mm, the taste is divine so lastly i added my meat you know the meat i removed the first time it's time to add it back i added that and also Finally, I added my kale. I used kale in making...